Hi, I'm Justin from Wagon Tech, and today we're going to take a look at winter travel tips and essential gear that will make your trip worry-free. So let's get started. On the side of the road is not the time to be thinking about vehicle maintenance. Before the winter rush hits, make sure that you or a shop takes a look at tires. You'll want to take a look at the tread depth, the wear patterns, see if there's any cracking or foreign objects such as nails or anything else, and make sure that they're the appropriate model for the conditions. So if you're going to be driving in the snow, you should have snow tires. Batteries. Batteries are taxed harder in colder climates than they are in warmer climates. Make sure your battery is healthy and properly maintained. Belts and hoses. Replace any worn or cracked hoses and belts. Brakes. Has it been a few years? Are you hearing squealing or feeling poor performance out of them? Make sure you get them checked out. Lighting. Make sure all of your lights are in proper working order. Headlights, running lights, emergency hazard lights, turn signals, etc. Fluids. Make sure your oil, your coolant, your transmission fluid, your brake fluid, your transfer case fluid, and power steering fluids are all topped off. These are the lifeblood of your vehicle, and you want to make sure you change them or check them if it's been a while. Wiper blades are important for visibility and should be replaced every single year. Right now is a good time to do it. Fuel. Make sure to fill your tank prior to leaving. This includes short trips as well. I recommend not letting your gas tank get below 25% or a quarter tank. The best maintenance is preventative maintenance. It's pretty stupid to wait for something to happen before you act. Would you drive on bald tires with nails sticking out of them? Probably not. Why not be proactive and take care of your ride to help ensure that nothing bad happens? Keep a battery charger on your battery or charge it up before the trip. This battery charger is perfect because it's fully automatic. For every six months it passes, in the very least, you should be changing your oil and rotating your tires. Be sure to replace your fuel filter, your cabin filter, and your air filter at the manufacturer's suggested intervals. Spark plugs are an often forgotten and neglected part of your vehicle. Make sure to replace them regularly to get the best performance out of your engine. Make sure to read your owner's manual. This clearly outlines what needs to be done and at what time intervals. And be sure to clean out the interior of vehicle. Less mess equals less stress. Every state agency recommends a winter car kit for every vehicle. Every kit should include a backpack. Essential items in your backpack should include things like gloves, of course food, like granola bars and other power bar type items, a candle, definitely matches or a lighter, and of course water. You can't survive without water. We also have a recovery shovel, toe straps, maps of where you're headed, and lighting. Lighting is super important. I recommend the WR600 by Wagon Tech. This light is a spot beam and it's also rechargeable. Also road flares, because in an emergency, other motorists can see your emergency situation. We also have a NOAA radio. This one does weather, also normal FM and AM stations, and is rechargeable. I also prefer a work light like this Michelin LED light. This thing has a white work light on the front and a red hazard light on the rear. Another important thing to have inside your vehicle are blankets and a change of clothes, because you never know if you're going to get wet or dirty. Uh, next thing on the list is an air compressor. It's super important to make sure that your tires are properly inflated for better handling and better braking. So definitely use an air compressor like this 12 volt direct drive compressor by Wagon Tech. We also have a, a snow scraper and a brush. Another important thing to have if you're traveling in snow country. Next are traction pads. These will assist you just in case you get stuck or are slippery on ice. You can put these underneath your tires and they help you get out of the situation. And last but definitely not least are jumper cables or this Ion Boost V8 Torque. These are super important because if you have a dead battery, you can jump start yourself. I like multi-function items like this one because you can also charge your phone off of it and it has a flashlight as well. Other important things to keep inside your vehicle are a fire extinguisher, a set of basic hand tools, a first aid kit, a good knife. Another important one is this Rescue Me. It's a seat belt cutter and a window punch. And of course, fluids for your vehicle. Other tips and important advice would be to slow down. When road conditions are wet or snowy or icy, make sure you slow it down. Getting there late is better than never getting there. Also increase your distance. Allow more space or time cushion between you and the vehicle in front of you. Another important thing to do while driving is put the phone down. You shouldn't be texting or making calls unless it's hands-free. Also check the weather, or know before you go, is a phrase I've heard used before. 
Check the weather forecast so you won't be heading into a blizzard, a lightning storm, a flood, or other driving hazard. Another important tip is to fuel up often while you're driving. Don't wait until the needle is close to E, or worse, wait until the fuel light comes on. Keep the tank at half full or better so that if you break down, you'll be happy that you still have the heater to keep you warm. Another important tip would be keep the windows clean. It seems obvious, right? But if you can't see well, then you're a danger to yourself and others on the road. Make sure you keep visibility at its peak performance. Don't drive with snow packed on your vehicle or fogged up windows. Another important tip is to let others know what your plan is. It is always a good idea to let others know where you're heading and when you anticipate to be there so that people will know where to look for you just in case you don't arrive. Make sure you know your gear. Many people place these items that we previously mentioned in their vehicle without ever knowing how to use them. Ah, 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 staying alive. Be sure to familiarize yourself with the gear prior to needing it. Also a good note would be to replace old food and batteries in your gear prior to leaving on the trip. If you have a tunable VHF radio, a ham radio, or a shortwave radio, here are the NOAA weather frequencies or channels for reference. Another important tip that you may not think of is to just say no to using the cruise control in anything but optimal conditions. Stay in control of the vehicle at all times. Don't become complacent. Stop often and take a break if needed. Stretch out, get out, and move around to keep your blood flowing and your mind alert. Make sure you prepare for others as well. Are you traveling with children, an infant, an elderly person, or carrying more people in your car than usual? Be sure to prepare the necessary supplies for those people as well. Just remember, this is not an exhaustive or comprehensive list. This is just to get you started on creating a perfect winter kit for your vehicle. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Also subscribe to our channel, and thank you very much for watching.